you brought up um you brought up unity there unity is such a a weird one because i can go back and find forum posts of people being so angry about unity coming in and how unity is ruining everything and then I could find the exact same forum post a couple of years later about how GNOME is ruining everything and why are we leaving Unity? <laughs> you know, I think the biggest disaster at the time was Unity built on Mer, which was supposed to be its own display server. Mm -hmm. Didn't support something as simple as Intel integrated graphics. I had a ThinkPad T23 that it put run on. Right. And... Quality control was kind of bad at the time, too. But, you know, Unity is still a thing, but for mobile phones, actually. Uh, Mer. Mer is still a thing, you mean? What do you mean? Wait. Unity is still a thing. Uh... I think it's called Unity 8 now, I think is what it's called. But it's the uh, it's designed for mobile phones. Well, there is a developer who's taken over the Unity desktop as well. Um, there is a Unity spin of a bunch now, or Unity flavor. Um... Oh, wait, do you mean... Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, so, the, okay, it, it's going by Lemiri now. That's 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 why I was confused. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Lemiri is the one on mobile, and then there is somebody else who has taken over the Unity desktop who is uh, basically trying to... Basically do what you're doing. Bring it, like, turn, turn uh, this desktop into a modern desktop, keep it going, uh, because that was the first version of... Linux that he used, so he just kept it going. He's like, hey, I like Unity, I, I'm gonna keep doing this thing. It seems like whether people like Unity or hated it, it depends on whether you started on it. Because <laughs> the people I don't that... think the idea was bad. I <laughs> mean, from what I remember, it's not much different than Gnome 3. It no, it, if you put them side by side, especially the way that Ubuntu configured it, they're very, very similar looking. Um, I like the idea they had back then. So the whole the whole thing they were trying to do is this idea of convergence, where they wanted to build a uh, a GUI that could be used across every device they had. Because at the time, Canonical had this idea where they were gonna they were gonna make phones, they were gonna make TVs, they were gonna make tablets, and th they had demos for all of this stuff. They actually had. One of the most popular, was it Kickstarter or was it one of the other websites? Um, Canonical, you probably remember this, Canonical tried to fund the development of a phone. I don't remember that, actually. Okay, uh, there was a phone called the Ubuntu Edge. They made, they, they raised uh, $32 million dollars. In one month. Wow. Yeah, it was... I think it was the... Either the most or one of the most successful Indiegogo campaigns at the time. It, it was really... I, I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you're too busy doing things that actually mattered. <laughs> I was pretty checked out of Ubuntu and Canonical at the time. Yeah, fair honest. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, the Ubuntu Edge, like, the, the other thing with the, the Edge, the reason why it did so well, um, they were all, like, the, the specs they had on this thing just didn't... Oh, sorry, they, okay, they had a goal of 32 million, they didn't reach the goal, right, that's, that's what it, that's what it was, okay, um, so this thing... They were... <laughs> the, the specs they had on it just didn't make any sense for a phone at the time. So the this was during the time the Galaxy S4 had storage of 16 gig. The iPhone 5 had 64 gigs. They said they were going to have 128 gigs of storage. They said they were going to have twice as much RAM. Um, and they're also going to do it like $200 cheaper. It you know, I, I do wish we had more phone choices these days. You mm -hmm. know, whether you're Android or iPhone, uh, mm -hmm. iPhone, there's no choice. I mean, you just choose from yeah. one of the same three models. Did I disconnect again? What in the world is... <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. What is happening? <sighs>
One of these days! <sighs> Discord! Why are you like this? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. How long till I reconnect? How long till we connect? Are you back there? There we go. There we Hi. go. Hi. <laughs> you were saying, um, iPhones, you have three choices, and then, uh, I guess Apple must have DDoSed you. Or DDoSed me. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, there's basically three models, you know, of iPhone to choose from, but, you know, Android, you can choose from one of the three basically same brands nowadays. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I wish there was more choice, not necessarily even Android, although that'd be nice because, you know, back in the day, we used to have flagships from, you know, half a dozen different Android brands, and you just don't really have that much choice anymore these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember, like, during, what, it was probably like 10 or so years ago, you would see a lot of companies sort of, like, leapfrogging over each other and doing a lot of really cool stuff. Like, um, I know LG used to have some really high-end phones as well. Uh, Motorola, when they were independent as well, used to do a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, actually, speaking of different phones, I actually have a... This this right here is a Linux phone. This is fun. It's running, um... It's running a modified version of Droidian and, uh... And Fosh, which is built off of the GNOME stack. Huh. You know, there there are a few alternatives. You know, there's, like, one, uh, one plus phones. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a lot of people, you know... I don't realize but you could run linux on an android phone with some work mm -hmm. uh one of my past projects for fun i had a debian crude on a uh what would have been an htc oh what was the model evo 3d mm -hmm. and uh had uh, an x server running on as a android app and then would launch the debian crew and you could have trinity desktop environment on your android phone that is cool uh so that was kind of a fun experiment there but mm -hmm. it wasn't really designed for the phone right 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 no de definitely not trinity But like this, what I so this is my main phone. This was uh, this was sent to me to like demo. My uh, my actual phone is uh is it's like a two hundred dollar phone from Oppo. Um, I don't. I'm not really much of a phone guy. I I think like you know, I I, I try to minimize the amount of use, uh, the amount I use my phone. I know there's a lot of people out there who like to spend. A lot of time, you know, customizing their phone. A lot of people like to jailbreak stuff and then, you know, do whatever random stuff they do with it. I just, it, it's a phone to me. It's a, it's cool, right? But like, I have my, I, I run Arch. I have, my, I have my Arch system to, to deal with. I, I'll focus on that. The, uh, you know, phones are a great tool. Uh, you know, a lot of us started flip phones, but you know, by day I work in agriculture <laughs> and, uh, your operating equipment. You know, the phone is so handy nowadays. All my manuals are on the phone. Google's right there at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. uh, and it amazes me how much a thousand dollar phone differs from one to the other when you actually put it to the test of the elements. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, I've had iPhones. I've currently got a Samsung. And uh, I've had Google phones. And, uh, you know, they all work at the end of the day. They're just a tool to get the job done. But uh, one of them might uh, break a little bit quicker? I. <laughs> well, you know, if you had a Samsung Note, I mean, it's a hand grenade, a really handy hand grenade. <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think they're ever going to do, like, they're ever going to, like, have people forget about the battery issues those, uh, those phones had. And that's not the first exploding thing they made. They made exploding washing machines at one point, too. I don't know if I've ever heard about that one. Samsung, wait, what? Is washing machine, wait, what is this? Uh, wait, this is... This, like, uh, what? <laughs> I actually, I'm seeing like 10 different stories over multiple different years. 
So, recalls 2.8 million washing machines after reports of explosions. That's 2016. Then there's a different one in 2023. Then there's another one where they had to recall some... Oh my... What? <laughs> okay. Sure. And maybe they shouldn't make washing machines. I don't know. No, I, I, you never think of something like a washing machine explode, but I guess they figured out how to do it. Well, yeah, you know, it is basically, you've got like an engine in there rotating a big barrel. So if that, if that barrel loosens, I, you're going to have some problems. Sure. Okay. Well, that's, uh, I learned something new today. I learned about peanut Linux and I learned about exploding washing machines from Samsung. Not exactly, uh, not exactly what I plan to learn about, but hey, uh, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs>